So today I'm talking about a P2241 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P2241 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor, positive current control, circuit low, bank two, sensor one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called O2 sensors or oxygen sensors, and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer, which then uses it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P2241 code, the computer's seen a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the Bank 2 Sensor 102 sensor, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank 1 is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder, and the opposite of that is Bank 2. So if you look up or Google your engine, along with cylinder location, and you locate the number one cylinder on that engine, since there can be differences, then that side of the engine is going to be Bank 1, and the opposite is going to be Bank 2. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. Sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And when you get this P2241 code, the sensor to go and locate is going to be this bank two sensor one O2 sensor. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2241 code? Well, the main things that's going to cause this is either that bank 2 sensor 102 sensor that it's gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it and so there's going to be some different ways to go about troubleshooting this you can't go and test that sensor and see if that's good and if the sensor is good then you know it's in the wiring or you could go test the wiring and if the wiring's good then you know it's the sensor there's some different ways to go about testing these sensors there's some good videos on that i've made videos on that i'll put a link in the description box below if you want to check that out and if you do go to check out the wiring, it's always going to be a good idea to get a wiring diagram for that specific vehicle. That way you know what's going on because there can be different types of sensors. And basically what's going on with these sensors is that there's going to be two parts to them. One part is going to be reading how much oxygen content there is inside the exhaust and reporting that information back to the computer. But then there's also going to be these heater elements built into them. And basically the oxygen sensor part, it can't start getting good readings until it gets hot. And so that the computer doesn't have to wait for the engine to get hot and the exhaust to get hot and the sensor to heat up. They have these heater elements built in that help it quickly warm up when the engine's cold. These heater elements usually have 12 volts going to them. Again, be sure to get a schematic for the vehicle, but usually they have 12 volts going to them when the engine's cold. They're also going to be on a fuse and a relay. And then you're going to have two wires going back to the computer. You're going to have a ground wire and a signal wire going back to the computer that's reporting how much oxygen there is inside the exhaust. When you get this P2241 code, it is pointing more towards the oxygen sensor part on the positive signal wire going back to the computer. This code is pointing more towards that wire. So you can go and get schematics for that vehicle and go and check and be sure there's no open, short, anything like this. Because the most common things that's going to cause a P2241 code is going to be either that sensor has failed and gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how to go about fixing a vehicle with the P2241 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.